what is up guys welcome to this episode of old guys garage today we're going to change a starter out on a g35 infinity it's a 2003 and uh, we'll show you how to change out the starter let's get started so here's the g35 we're going to change the starter out <clears throat> let's give you a little walk around here's the new starter the pure energy there's the part number 17904 all right guys this is what it sounds like uh, when your starter is bad in your infinity do it again so you can kind of hear the starter click but it's not enough power and you, you got to check your battery too. Your battery, we got plenty of battery. Our, our headlights work. Everything works battery wise. So it's either your battery or your starter when it won't start typically. And we got plenty of battery. We tried jumping it and uh, it still won't start. So it's not the battery. Uh, so we're going to replace the starter. All right. So we got the e brake on. We got the rear wheels blocked. It's a V6, 3.5 liter engine, same motor as what's in the 350Z. And uh, we gotta disconnect the battery. So the battery's in this compartment right there. We'll show you what's inside. All right, we gotta get a couple of wrenches, take these loose, disconnect the battery. Guys, so this is a 10 millimeter uh, wrench. I'm going to use a closed end on this nut right here. Disconnect the battery. Whenever you're touching a hot, you want to avoid contacting any other metal because it'll spark. Alright, that's disconnected. We'll just tuck this away so it doesn't make contact with that. Okay, battery's disconnected. So to get access to the starter that's right here, we have to take this plate off to gain access. Thing right, is blocking yeah. my face. We're just using a Phillips screwdriver right now to get these bolts off. I think that my uh, oil plug is kind of leaking. It's kind of moisture around it. Yeah, we'll check it. So and believe then, it or not, that's my daughter doing the wrenching. That's not in the picture right now because she don't want to be in it. <laughs> She's been helping me work on cars since she was two. Watch your eyes. Alrighty, the plate is off. Mm, it's gross up in here. Ugh. All right, so here's the new starter. <sighs> Gently on the duck wood. Yeah, set it back on that. 
Let's just check the connections here. Connection to the battery. Okay. Yeah, so the battery cable goes there. We got one bolt here. Another on the side. So there's two bolts to the outside, which I've seen underneath. Those aren't too hard to get at. All right, let's go install right, So we're on the passenger side. The starter's on the passenger side, right next to the back of the engine, front of the transmission. And there's a little plug that, that's right here that we have to disconnect. And then right here is the battery cable from up top that we gotta disconnect. This is a 13 millimeter. So we're gonna do that right now. We're gonna disconnect this and we're gonna disconnect this. All right, there's the 13 millimeter. That's the battery cable on the starter. You can actually get it with a long uh, socket and with a long extension. We're using a wrench right now. And there we go, it's off. All right, and then pull that cable off. You got it disconnected. All right, so there's there's the terminal on the starter. Now we're gonna take the two bolts off. We'll show you those. There's two bolts holding the starter on. All right, so right here, right here is gonna be the starter. To take the two bolts off to disconnect it from the transmission, there's this bolt right here. And it's also gonna be this bolt right here. And it's a 14 millimeter. All right, guys, we got the starter loose. There's really only one place it can come out. Can you leave your hand there? Yeah, there's like one little hole right there between the lower A arm and the inner fender well. That's the only spot that's big enough to get that thing out of there. So that's where you got to pull it out. All right, here's how it goes in the car, guys. That's how it sits right there. Here's one bolt hole here. There's another bolt hole there. And then here's where the battery terminal goes on. And then this plug. We'll connect. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna put it in. your eyes should have glasses on jigsaw puzzle i don't know if i'm really doing it right yeah it's good it's in so what'd you do again ellie i did it but the battery connected back before i put the nut on so you for you actually put the nut on and forgot to put the battery terminal back on yes that's correct the whole reason why the nut's on there right yes nice Naturally blonde, right? Naturally. 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 Nice. <laughs> All right, so we got the new starter in. Now we're just putting the battery terminal back on and tightening it back up. All right, moment of truth. Hey, Georgia. Okay, just shut it off. All right. Oh, I'm so happy. Never thought I'd be so happy to hear that noise ever again. <laughs> oh, it's so great. Woo, victory. Woo! All right. You didn't see that. Nope. Nor did the camera. Nope. Overdo it. You're good.
No, yeah, stay on it a little longer. That's good. We'll smug them down once it's on the ground. it on the ground we're just snugging it up with a half inch breaker bar and once you get your tire on the ground then you want to get make sure the lugs are tight don't break it don't don't yank so hard you can snap the lug right off there you go it's gentle there you go yeah if you bounce it you could actually snap them All right, guys say bye Allie that's gonna be a wrap for the starter on the G35 2003 if you guys like the video please like and subscribe to the channel you can also see our build for our upcoming SEMA event 2020 uh, the 1967 Chevelle what, what? good job Allie all right, let's hear. Shut it off for a second and then start it again. Let's do it one more time. Go ahead and do it again. Yeah, that sounds fine. Our sounds good. Go ahead and back up a little bit so I can get that brick out. Like and subscribe if you like the video, guys. Really appreciate you uh, checking out our channel. We'll see you on the next one. Well, guys, as you can see, Allie did most of the work on that video. Uh, man, she made it easy for me, so I was exhausted anyway. That's why they call it Old Guy's Garage. Anyway, thank you uh, for watching the channel. Please like and subscribe. Click on the post notification so you can see our next video. And um, if you want, you can go back and look at some of our other videos and see that Chevelle over my shoulder uh, being built. And uh, that'll be running pretty soon. It's got a 496 stroker motor in it and a big block Chevrolet with aluminum heads, roller rocker, roller cam. And uh, we'll see you on the next video, guys. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.